Hi there. Until now, we have been using the graphical layout editor to create user interface layouts for our Android projects. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a layout by using XML. So this is the layout that I've already created using the graphical layout editor by dragging and dropping in the view components. So we have an edit text for the username and we have another edit text for the password. And we also have a linear layout which contains two buttons, one for the login and the other one is a cancel button. So these were created by using the drag and drop graphical layout editor. And there are times where you may have to do some editing with the raw XML. So in this video, I'll give you the general outline on how to create UIs using uh, raw XML. And uh, we'll take it up from there. So if you want to make changes to your layout using XML, you have to go to this tab which says the layout name dot XML. And before we try to recreate this, I'm going to delete all the components from here. Delete, delete and delete so we have a clean state to start with and now i'm going to create the same layout right from xml so let's switch to this tab and this is the layout and xml always has one root element uh, here the relative layout is the root element and you can have any view or a view group as a root element you can have view groups such as linear layouts table layouts frame layouts or even a scroll view as a root element and you can also have views such as edit text, text views, buttons and image buttons as uh, a root element and every root element should have the XML namespace called an Android attribute this is very very important and this attribute is uh, required only for root elements you don't have to use it anywhere else in this project and the other two important properties are the width and height properties and the generated layout has paddings around the layout. So we're going to leave this as it is. The next step we're going to do is we're going to create, uh, recreate the layout which I showed you earlier. Remember that we had two edit texts on the top. The first one is for the username. So I'm going to create a new edit text here. I'm going to start with an open angle bracket and I'm going to type in edit text. So this is the edit text. We're going to give this an ID and we'll call an ID which is going to be at the rate of plus ID slash username. So this way we're going to create a new ID and assign it to this edit text. The next two properties are the width and height properties. And since uh, the edit text occupied the entire width, we're going to use match parent. And for the height, we're going to use wrap content. There is also one property that we have to add that is the hint property. So this hint property allows us to specify a light colored text when the edit text is empty. Here we're going to use username. Let me save this. And let's go back to the graphical layout. Here you can see that we have our first component in place. So next we're going to add a password edit text. So let's go to UI XML. Here I'm going to add another edit text component edit text I'm going to give this an ID and I'm going to call it as password followed by the width property which is match parent and the height property which is wrap content so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to specify the hint for this as well hint string password and followed by the hint we're going to specify the input type property because we have to allow only passwords inside which means the text will be masked using dots save this and since we are using a relative layout we have to place this password right below the username to do that i'm going to use a layout property which is layout below and i'm going to use slash id slash username at the rate of id slash username so now you can see that we have the username edit text followed by the password edit text and uh, both of them are having hints the next thing to do is to include a linear layout within which we are going to add a couple of buttons let's go back to uixml.xml here i'm going to create a linear layout 
and I'm not going to give this any IDs because uh, we're not going to refer this either from the XML or from the Java code. So the width is going to be match parent and the height is going to be wrap content. Also, we need to place this linear layout at the bottom of the screen. So we're going to use align parent bottom is equal to true. That is it. And you can see we have a view group here, which is a linear layout. And a view group can have uh, child components. That is why we have opened the linear layout tag here and we have closed it here. Whereas in case of uh, an edit text, it is just a view. It cannot have other views inside. So we have closed it using the slash followed by the greater than angle bracket. This has just one tag. So this does not have an end tag, whereas the linear layout has an end tag because it is a view group. Also, you can notice that the little layout has an end tag because it is a view group. And within the linear layout, we're going to place a couple of buttons. So the first one is going to be a login button. Button ID is going to be at the rate of login. And for the width, I'm going to use wrap content. And for the height, I'm going to use wrap content. And for the text, I'm going to give it a text called as login. The autocomplete feature is very useful. So trying to press on control plus space will bring up a lot of options to choose from. And I use it frequently because it helps you to be a little more productive when you're typing in XML or even Java code. So if you want to open up the auto suggestion list, just press on control plus space on all the platforms and that includes Macintosh, Windows and Linux. So we have one button. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we have one button. We're going to add another button to this. Let me copy this button and we're going to add a cancel button. I'm going to give this an ID called as cancel. And for the text, we're going to use the cancel text string resource. So let's go back and you can see that we have the login and cancel buttons placed. However, we saw from the graphical layout editor, uh, the login and cancel buttons filled the entire width of this layout and uh, they were distributed equally in size. So we're going to do that by assigning the weight properties. Let's go back to the XML and here I'm going to specify the weight property, which is one. And I'm going to use the same weight property for cancel as, as well. Save this. Let's go back to graphical layout and here we are done. So that's the idea behind creating uh, layouts using XML. Most of the time you'll be comfortable doing uh, the same using a graphical layout editor, but there could be scenarios where you have to uh, get down and dirty and write some XML. So this is the general idea behind uh, creating layouts using XML, but uh, I'm not suggesting that you have to do it, but there are times where you may have to write XML. And uh, if you have any questions on this topic, please feel free to ask. Thank you.